geometry modification, um, which means you can point your rocket at, at, at a wall and blast a hole right through it. Sure. Hi, who are you? Okay. My name is Alan Lawrence. I'm the lead designer of Red Faction. I'm also doing the AI programming on it. Um, so Red Faction is bringing a lot of new things to the FPS genre. Geomod is obviously a big one. Being able to blow holes in walls and collapse structures. Another big thing is being able to control a variety of vehicles. We have an APC in the game, a submarine, and you're going to be able to fly various craft as well. Any more questions? Hey Jim, can you drive for a bit? Yeah, that's cool. Because we were like standing behind the I'm trying to think what else we can ask. I can't step back too far, or else we're going to drag out in the background noise. Maybe some of the maybe some of the ideas behind it. You know, like what 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 inspired the red faction? You guys like big fans of propaganda artists like that? Uh, well, you know, I mean, the, you know, the game the game started off with uh, literally we had we had Alan working on it. We had uh, John Slagle, who was uh, involved in Descent 1, uh, as a the key technology guy there. We had Mike Kulas involved in it, he was the owner of Volition, he was the co-founder of Parallax, uh, working with these, uh, these two guys, working on uh, the architecture of the game. And then the lead artist, Frank Capizzuto. And that was the team. It was very, very small, and the focus was, we want to create a new technology that's going to change the way people look at first-person shooters. Uh, and we identified right at the very beginning that we wanted to we wanted modifiable environments. Um, so that was that was the, the, the origin of the game. And we knew that was what we wanted to accomplish. And, and as we developed that technology and, and then started playing with it, uh, a lot of the, the wouldn't it be cool if we could do this or, or you know what this game really needs is, is to do that. And you know, we had a few false starts. We had uh, a few things that worked really well. And so we sort of built around those things. Um, so in a lot of ways, some of the features in the game sort of came out of developing the technology and, and, and understanding, hey, this would be, this, this really lends itself to this kind of a feature. So in terms of art direction, uh, you know, that the game is set in, in a mining colony on Mars. Uh, you know, the, the corporation basically owns the planet. It's exploiting labor. Uh, the, the story, the action of the story is uh, basically a revolution. The miners are yeah, striking in a way, a very violent insurrection. Uh, so in a lot of ways, it sort of parallels you know, labor and unrest and, and things like that. And we thought, well, maybe propaganda art would be sort of an appropriate art direction to take, at least from sort of a corporate image for a whole evil corporation. Um, so we started incorporating some of the, some of the uh, propaganda style posters and things like that. Um, in terms of vehicle design or weapon design, we wanted something that was science fiction oriented, but we didn't want it to be, you know, all goofy lasers and, and, and energy weapons and things that, that, you know, people can't relate to. Nobody's ever seen an energy weapon and it's hard to know what that really is going to do to a body. But people know what guns are, they know what, you know, rounds do. There are actually some other players that we have a gun that's shooting a 50 caliber bullet, you know, it's, it's easy to sort of understand what that's going to do to the environment. As a result, we felt that was creating a much more satisfying kind of experience. So a lot of the weapons, a lot of the vehicles have sort of this military, realistic kind of approach. We're trying to set the future. Okay, but in terms of actually gameplay, it's strictly first person. In terms of the weapons, we're still actually coming up with a lot of the concepts, but uh, but kind of our direction is this: we want to go in the direction of a, a very realistic sort of weapons, sort of uh, something that's contemporary in nature. 
and, uh, and having all the, some of the more exotic ones, but kind of laying low on that. I and mean, our feeling is that so many first-person shooters are just trying to outdo the other one with weapons, uh, rather than just trying to get a good, clean weapon together. So we want to get those together and then have, have another subset with a more of a, a little more exotic nature to it. I'd like to introduce you to Rob Smith, who's the editor-in-chief of PC Gamer. Hi, it's going to be a real, 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 real,